Reggae just extra with Ross Dennis. Reggae music lost a giant in February 2024 with the passing of Peter Morgan, the lead singer of the family reggae band Morgan Heritage. His unique, instantly recognizable voice was one of the group's defining characteristics, standing out in a crowded field where comparisons are frequent. Peter's soulful vocals, often paired with the harmonious compliments of his brother Roy Gramps Morgan, created a distinct musical fingerprint over the band's 30-year history. Whenever a Morgan Heritage song starts, there is no mistaking the group's identity. Since his passing, tributes and condolences have poured in from several reggae and dancehall artists, political leaders, including Prime Minister Andrew Holness, opposition leader Mark Golding, and Passion Minot the mother of two of his daughters, however, her tribute raised eyebrows because a couple of years ago, she publicly accused the singer Peter Morgan of being an absentee father. She even recorded a diss track, Tell Me How Come Counteraction. This is the story of Passion Minot and Peter Morgan with Ras Dennis. This is the place to be for your reggae gist, facts, and culture. You are now watching Reggae Gist Extra's Passion Minot and Peter Morgan's edition. Passion Minot, daughter of veteran singer Sugar Minot, has revealed that the Morgan Heritage lead singer stepped up to the plate before he passed away on Sunday, February 25th, 2024, at age 46, almost two years after the passing of his father, Denroy Morgan. They share two daughters, Destiny Morgan and Journey Morgan, who were by his side during his final days. You asked for all your children, and it gives me comfort knowing that we made that possible, Minot shared in an Instagram post. They flew in from different countries just to be with you and I saw how it made you feel. You will forever be in our hearts. The daughter of sound system operator and singer Sugar Minot also shared a collage of Morgan. One image appeared to be her holding his hand from a hospital bed, while the other saw him smiling in a screenshot from a video call in January. I will always hold dear to my heart our last video call, when you called on Journey's birthday January 22nd, Minot wrote. You stayed on the phone with us over an hour, which was rare, because you not like talk so long pawn phone. The conversations you were having with us was like we've never had before, all the advice and suggestions you gave, even regarding my Minot family. You told us you loved us, and I replied, me love you me baby fada, love and love alone. Few weeks later, I'm on a plane rushing to be with the family in one of our hardest time. The cause of Morgan's demise is yet to be officially confirmed, however, the band's publicist told the popular entertainment news platform, Dancehall Mag, that Peter suffered a stroke and died in the United States. From as far back as 2013, Passion Minot would take to social media to call out Peter Morgan for not seeing nor financially supporting his daughters in several years. Her message remained even after Morgan Heritage won the 2016 Grammy for Best Reggae Album, mixing in congratulations with a reminder to Morgan to father his daughters. The former couple apparently resolved this matter long before his transition. Passion Minot was spotted with him and his wife Tommy Gunn at the funeral service for his father, reggae pioneer Denroy Morgan, in 2022. Peter, you're one of the most beautiful soul I've ever met, and although we've had our issues of you not being around as a father to our girls, we've never stopped loving you one day, she shared. You helped me to heal from that hurt, because you sat and listened to the pain it had caused us and owned up to your wrongs. We didn't care about what the world had to say, we knew that we forgave each other for any hurt and was mending our relationship as being parents to our daughters. She continued, you really started trying and that I respect and loved. You told me how proud you were of destiny and journey and applauded me for being a great mother when you weren't present. Every time I would see you, I would say wag on me baby fata and you would have the brightest smile. Always so jovial. Some netizens found fault with the airing of unflattering details about the now deceased Morgan, but Minot's sister, Ashanti, defended the post in the comments. The entire message went over your head. 
Their struggles were very public, so if she can post the bad, she can post about the good, and they overcame. Meanwhile, the Morgan family have announced a memorial service for PETA on March 7, 2024, in Orlando, Florida. May his beautiful soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thanks for watching and do remember to subscribe, give it a like and post a positive comment in the comment section below and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Many thanks for watching Reggae Gist Extra with Ras Dennis.